we did a study looking at what would happen if we stopped building new devices, cars, power plants that dump additional carbon dioxide pollution into the atmosphere, but we continued using the existing power plants and cars that already exist, but didn't made them end at the end of their normal lifetime, didn't let them be like the cars in Havana. And we found that the uh, total amount of warming was something like uh, 1.4 degrees Celsius, so some, maybe that's less than 3 degrees Fahrenheit above what it was 200 years ago, and the CO2 level went stabilized around 420 ppm. And uh, the, the, so the existing um, CO2 emissions embodied in existing infrastructure I mean, it's bad enough, but I don't think it, it tips us over the edge. Really what we have to worry about is what we're still going to build and as the energy system expands in the future and as the developing world develops. A and so from a physical point of view, uh, we can stop, prevent this problem. A and from a uh, technical point of view, it's a challenge, but it's not that big a challenge. Economists estimate it would cost a couple of percent of GDP to revolutionize our energy system. And I, I, sometimes when I'm in front of audiences, I say, well, imagine we already had a carbon neutral energy system, one that didn't use the atmosphere or oceans as a waste dump. And somebody said, oh, you could be two or three percent richer, and all you have to do is shift weather patterns, melt the ice caps, acidify the oceans, and thousands of years later, the sea level will still be rising, and so on. And, you know, would you trade all that environmental risk to be two or three percent richer? And almost nobody says that that's worthwhile. And so the idea that, okay, we'll uh, be two to three percent less rich and will uh, avoid all of these environmental problems. The economy of the world is growing at more than two or three percent per, per year. And so that's like saying if we address this problem, that's saying like, oh, in year 2101, it'll take us year 2101 to get this rich instead of getting that rich in 2100. And, and so th that, that basically we you lose one year's growth over this century to solve this problem, and probably less than that. And so, so it's solvable, it's, uh, and there are technical challenges, but the fundamental challenge is getting society as a whole to decide to solve the problem.